good, Gaza. That's really good. It's not finished yet. Well, you'll work on it. I mean, that's all you have to do. Yep, that's the plan, right? Very wise of you to set your priorities, you know, to put music above everything else. It's all I ever wanted to do. Well, you're a real talent. Thanks. Hey, Joshua. That's all I want, to be in this band. I beg your pardon? I don't want to be in your little vampire club. As strange as it may seem, you and I are in sync. You need to do something about that cologne, mon chéri. You smell like a French hooker. And you, you, you are way too smart to be listening to that clown. Stan. Hey, Katie. I was wondering when you show up. All right, I messed up. Okay, guilty as charged. Go ahead, send me away. Elizabeth, why are you not answering me? You know better than to behave this way. It makes me so angry. You better have a very good reason for ignoring my calls. Do I make myself clear, Elizabeth? <gasps> See, what did I tell you? He is not going to leave me alone. All right, all right. We don't, you don't have to be upset, OK? You don't have to be afraid anymore. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to get you out of town. You'll be we're safe. Out of town? Right, yes. Oh, uh, what? Where, 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 where am I supposed to go? You can go to this place that Nanny used to go to all the time. It's an awesome resort. They have a great spa there, and you can stay, and you do endless treatments. People go there all the time. It's very private. They don't check in under their own name. Like, you can hide under mud packs f for weeks if you want to. People always do it, especially after some social faux pas. No one's going to find out you're there, especially Joshua. No, this is what you don't understand. You don't know Joshua. He will find me. He still thinks I'm a vampire. When he finds out that I'm not, he's going to kill no, me. No, he, he won't. He won't find me. How do you me. know that? You don't know. You don't know what this is like, Rafe. You, you, you never will. I need to talk to somebody that understands this. I have to call Ian. So he'll probably have some good advice. No, no, he won't. Why? If, I mean, if Ian can at least reassure I him. talked to Ian, OK? And he never went into the hot spring. Let's get your mother packed, all right? No, I don't want to leave. I'm not leaving. Mother, please, um, Reef is right. This really is for the best. So go in there, get your stuff together, and I will help you, I promise. Please, come on. This is not how I envisioned my human. I know. What are you doing? Why are you lying about Ian? Why did you do that? Well, in her condition, that's about all she can handle right now. Plus, I don't know if we can really trust her with the truth about what really happened to Ian when we left him at the hot spring. I, uh, fetch some water. No. OK. I'm not giving up. Elizabeth did somehow manage to uh, be cured through a miracle or whatever it was. We are going to figure that out, how to make it happen for you. Always the optimist. I'm gonna get rid of whoever that is, okay? Uh, nothing. It was nothing. You know what? I, uh, I feel like I want to wash my face a little bit, okay? Lucy. Um, it's nothing important, I promise. <sighs> Sorry the cure didn't work. Told your boyfriend might need a little snack. Your loving husband.
knows? <sighs> How on earth do you think Kevin knows that the cure didn't work for you? Oh, he was probably there and saw for himself. I don't care. I don't care what he thinks or feels about any of this. It doesn't matter. Well, no, I... It doesn't matter. It matters that I am here with you right now. That's it all that matters. It does matter because he could hurt you with this. Let him try. This is all the ammunition. Just stop. Right? Don't do that. Don't. Your whole life's turned upside down because of me, and I... I'm not not be because I choose to be here with you. That It's my choice. You don't get to spend time with your kids. Yeah. I, I love them, and they know that. They're safe. You don't get to see your friends. My friends know what I'm going through, okay? This is your life. This is it now. You, you're stuck with a vampire, like, like you're in a prison. And I'm... Hey. Are, uh, are you done? Are, are you finished? I love you. And I want a normal life for you. That's what I want. I know where you're going. I know where you're going with this, and I'm not gonna listen because I'm not going anywhere. You can't you can't make me leave. You know that. I can't leave. And there's the rub. Because I, I should push you to leave. I should I should force you to get out of here. You really are gonna go, okay? Please. I just, I don't want to say goodbye to you in front of a whole lot of people. All right, so why don't, uh, why don't I just take a cab from here by myself? I'll do that. Well, I don't really see anything wrong with that. I do. Look at me. You have to promise me that you will go straight to the drain. Cross my heart. I'll help him call a cab for you downstairs, right? Oh, you know, I can call from up here. Why don't you guys do what you need to do and I'll call the concierge. Uh, yeah, hi, front desk, please. Just leave your bags at the velvet. Joshua. Oh, boy, it's me. So what I'm saying is I... I I've seen a lot of ugliness in my life. <sighs> Hatred and war and terror. And I guess, you know, you, you develop pretty thick skin. That's how you've learned to survive. When I was a little boy, I never wanted anyone's help, you know. But I guess now those days are behind me. I am incapable of going anywhere. I love you. And I hate to say it, but I need you. I'm yours. I don't mean I, I don't I don't want that. I'm never quite get over the fact how you were always so certain you know what I'm gonna do. But it's like three strikes, I'm out, right? I mean, look at him, man. He, he's just so hot. And, and he plays like an angel. I mean, not like a real angel, but an angel. And, and I love this gig. I get to watch him, and he doesn't even know I'm here. I'm in heaven. I'm gonna miss that. He's pretty good. No doubt about that. Yeah. I really blew it. I mean, not just with my friends, but with Caleb and the garbage man and the paper boy. 
I mean, that's just that's just what I do. That's my middle name. I blew it. <laughs> but you know what? This stuff, this guardian angel stuff, it's really, really hard. Yes, it is really, really hard. Yeah. Otherwise, anybody can do it. You know what? You gotta promise me, Ed, all right? What? The next person that you send down to save Ricky, they have to be good. Okay, because I, I don't know how to protect him from this. And you got Joshua just all up in his grill, promising him the world and fame and stardom and all this creative stuff. And me? I sound like somebody's grandma. Don't do this, Ricky. Don't do that, Ricky. Man, I'm <laughs> sick of hearing myself. It does get kind of old. You don't even have to worry about us getting back together. He already picked the band over me. No, he didn't pick anything yet. Yeah, but I blew it. I mean, everybody and their mom knows I'm an angel. <laughs> what? Why are, you la why are you laughing? Because I can understand that, you see. I mean, you're not exactly famous, Casey, for being discreet, you know what I mean? Oh. But the thought that entered my mind, you might let the cat out of the bag. Look, honey, you're too hard on yourself. You do fine, mostly. That twister thing you did, that was very cool. You're, you're not gonna send me away? But, but I didn't even do my job. Ed, I'm not even sure what my job is. Look, my sweet girl, I'm gonna tell you the same thing I told Rafe. There's a reason for everything. So stop asking those annoying questions. Follow your instincts. Keep your eye on the ball. And don't, whatever you do, don't let Ricky be turned. So angry with you. So very angry. The last time we spoke, you had followed Ian and Rafe to Caleb's apartment. And then you disappeared. Do you mind telling me why? I was I was just exploring my options. Stop playing games with me, or else I'll snap your pretty little neck in two. <clears throat> there happens to be a particular passageway underneath Caleb's loft that leads to a uh, hot spring. Like the hot spring that you visualized? <laughs> like this? You knew? I knew it existed. I just wasn't sure where or what its purpose was. Well, if you believe the legend, it supposedly brings back the dead. The dead? Like in the vampire dead? So they say. How deliciously gothic. How, oh, Caleb? The water. Mm. What about the water? That's where he gets the water. Then he adds something to it that masks the symptoms. Exactly. Speaking of which, why are you drinking that? Didn't we decide it was more fun to do things the old-fashioned way? Feeding the hell out of each other. I suggest you start drinking it, too. Why? Because you're not going to be feeding off of me anymore. At the risk of repeating myself. Why? Well, because... Because I'm falling in love with you. This is tough for you. Sending your mother away like this. <clears throat> Honestly, I'm really relieved. I know that's so awful to say, but I just... When I used to fantasize about having a mother in my life, I never actually pictured the most self-centered, self-serving, high-maintenance woman on the face of this earth. Be careful what you wish for. Huh? And, 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 and it's not to say that I don't want her to be happy, and I'm happy that she's going to be safe. It's just... It's just that you want her out of your face, too. Uh, right? don't, don't worry, I completely understand. Now listen to me. I promise you that we're going to make a family that you can be proud of. And you still got a sister out there somewhere, so. Yeah, um, I was thinking about that, and I just, I really feel like I would be setting myself up for another disaster. At least your mother's not a vampire anymore. I know, and, and how do you figure that? Because my mother jumps into the hot spring, right? Ian does the same thing. She's cured, he's not. Is it like a female, male thing, or? Mm -hmm. Maybe it's just because she's nuts and he's not, something like that. Oh, yeah. <sighs> yeah. 
not really. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's... Well, maybe it's because she was bitten by Caleb, and, and he wasn't. I, Ian was bitten by your mother, and it's one generation down kind of thing. Maybe... Oh, my God. I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get something straight. I'll, I'll, right, I'll, I'll see you later, all right? Okay, bye. Okay, I get why we don't want Ricky to get turned, but what I don't understand is why is he more important to you than anybody else around here? Sorry, little girl. To hire a purpose. Oh. And you don't have security clearance. Oh, that's not fair, Ed. It rarely is. Keep up the good work. Okay. You want me to stick around? I'm going to stick around. Jeez. I hate it when you do that. Hey, working on my transitions. All right, how long have you been watching me? Here's the thing. Wherever you go, whatever you do, I'm going to be watching. I haven't given up on you yet, Garza. You've fallen in love with me? Madly. Which is exactly what we didn't want to happen. I'm almost speechless. I resent that tone. You know, Elizabeth, you are quite a treasure, albeit a sunken one. You could have told me anything and I would have believed you, but that, that, that is even going too far for you. Okay, fine. Then all that leaves me with is the alternative. Just leave me alone. Oh, no. Not until I'm done. Hey, listen! It's over, okay? I spied on my daughter for you, I gave you every piece of information that you requested. But from this point forward, if you so much as lay one finger on me, I'll be telling Caleb exactly what you have planned. I'm safe. Caleb still has a taste for me. He loves me. He loves me not. I love you. I hate you. Your head would fall off its shoulders if it wasn't attached. Make up your bloody mind, woman. You may be excused. She's about as subtle as a truck. Look, this isn't an easy decision for me to make. But we've just had such little luck on finding my sister that I feel like I'm, I'm getting a message from somewhere. <clears throat> no, I want to call off the search completely. I know, I know that you've done everything that you can. I understand that. It's just that I'm really tired of getting so disappointed all the time. I know that she may be out there somewhere. I know that. But I'm, I'm ready to move on with my life. I'm ready to start a family of my own. I'm not getting that. I have to. Mm -mm. Hey, it, it might be Kevin. Come on, please don't. I hope it's Kevin. No. Hey, I figured it out. Figured what out? Why, why the spring didn't cure you? See, the only significant difference between you and Elizabeth is she's fed on human blood. Well, we know that's Well, that you have an Ian. That's it, okay? I'd, I'd stake my life on it. Your life, is it? Cousin, what are you saying? Ian's a vampire, Lucy. So before he can be cured, he has to feed on human blood. Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. Surrender. On the next Port Charles. Still trying to save Jack's soul. Well, I guess somebody has to. And somebody has to teach you to butt out of it, sister. But I think you have to be a full-blooded vampire before the hot spring cures you. You have to feed. Absolutely not.
The hottest star-studded night on SoapNet is almost here. Tune in Saturday, April 5th at 7 p.m. Eastern and Pacific and join Lisa and Ty on Soap Talk for GH's 40th anniversary. Then check out the 2003 Soap Opera Digest Awards live on SoapNet. To us and your husband's fortune. SoapNet. Every day, a new twist. <laughs>